you need an audio processor. And that's when my ears perked up. Oh, what? Tell me about this. <laughs> and it goes, uh, I don't know, it's a band that, it's a box that splits the audio into three bands and puts them all back together. It basically makes a radio station sound louder than it really is. At least that's what my friend says. That sounds exactly like what I need. It needs more sparkle. It needs more of this. Uh, I need I need more thump. There's a control that if you turn up thump, okay, it's programmed to turn this, tune that, tune this by that much, tune that by, by that much, tune this over here by this much, and diddle these other controls that, you, that normally would be corny only access controls uh, to give you more thump. But along the way, Frank goes, Cordy, this dynamic EQ, it's, it's amazing. I think this may have some application for audio processing. Play with it. Now, the, the, the point of a bass clipper is to try to keep the bass from creating um, high-frequency intermod distortion on the main clipper. Each of the bands can hone in on their individual spectrum, you know, the way they should. You can build up nice RMS loudness without having to worry about also loading onto them the EQ balance. Basically, what I hear and what other people hear is that the audio takes on it's, it's like taking a 2D picture and making it 3D. On the surface, that sounds like weird, but the proof is in what you hear on the air. Now.